Yo, what up everybody? Welcome back. This is Phantom Frequency where we get into the entire multiverse of pop culture, movies, anime, music, TV, everything in between. We break it down. Make sure you're clicking all the buttons below the video. It really does help us out immensely. We appreciate all the support, all the new subscribers, all the great support and um, interaction we've been having with all you great fans and supporters of the show. But today, this is a big ass trailer right here, y'all. This one's a doozy. We're getting into The Flash, the first official true full trailer for The Flash dropping in June of this year. This thing's been getting pushed back and pushed back. Tons of different writers and filmmakers and all this behind the scenes drama, even real life drama and controversy with the star of the film. Y'all know the deal. You, there's no way you can be on social media or anywhere in the 21st century right now and not have heard about all the Ezra Miller shenanigans going on. But besides all that, separating that from the art for a second, let's see what this trailer has in store for us. Apparently, we got some Batman coming up in here. So multiverse shenanigans, if you will. Let's get into this thing and let's see what they got popping off right here, y'all. Tell me something. You can go anywhere. Another time, Eaten, baby. Another universe. Oh. So why do you want to stay and fight to save this one? Because this is the world where my mom lives. Mm. I'm not gonna lose her again. Time has a pattern that it can't help reliving. Different people, different mm. worlds, drawn to each other like magnets. Hmm. My face. So my face. If you were to go into the past, you have no idea what the consequences can be. Bruce, I can hey. fix things. You could also destroy Bat everything. This can't be happening. I completely Whoa. broke the universe. Sod, we've been waiting for you. Oh, shit. I created a world with no metahumans. And now there's no one to defend us. Want some help? Yeah. You're. You are. Yeah. I'm Batman. <laughs> if I can't undo what I did, if I can't get back. There might not be a future. Hey. Oh. What's the play? Batman, what do we do? We try not to die. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I I'm well, Barry. We're Barry. Huh. Barry, what are you doing? Our kids are going to want to see this. Man, I, I, I can't front, man. That's a dope-ass trailer. That's a dope-ass trailer. I think I see what some of that hype is all about behind the scenes there. People have been comparing this scene. This is one of the dopest superhero flicks in a long time. People behind the scenes that have seen the test screenings and all that stuff. Now, you know they're not going to say it's a complete shit bomb unless it's just so bad they don't want to put it out. So the fact that they've gone through all these lengths, jumped through all these hoops to get this film out there, we might be in for something special, y'all. I can't lie. And it reset in the DC Universe, man. Looks like they're going to be off to a good one. It looks like Andy Muschietti, the director from It Chapter 1 and 2 fame, looks like he's he, he has another hit on his hands, man. This looks... Really fucking awesome. I can't lie. Drop your thoughts down below the video, y'all. I would love to see what you think. I know there's a lot of controversy going on. 
with the lead star, with a lot of things going on. I understand. But if you're able to separate it, I would love to hear what you got to say about it. And if you can't, if you don't want to support it for those reasons, I'm I'm totally open to those thoughts and opinions. Would love to hear, um, you know, a uh, balanced but respectful discussion on either side of the coin there. I would love to see what you guys thought about this trailer. I thought it was pretty kick-ass getting to see Michael Keaton back in the bad suit. That's fun. Uh, Cara, uh, uh, Cor- I don't remember her full name, but Cara, Supergirl, cool to see a version of that before we get into the James Gunn version. It's about damn time we got Supergirl on the big screen again since the 80s, terrible version, so good to see that going down. Uh, I love how we got two versions of Batman. We got Batfleck, Keaton, potentially our very last times ever seeing these these actors play those play the Batman role ever again before we get into the Brave and the Bold and everything that's to come in the future. So I'm hyped for it, man. I got to say, I, I kind of lost a lot of excitement there's a lot of weird uh, feelings going into this one. Just We went so long with no footage. But now that I've seen it, I got to honestly admit, it does kind of raise my excitement level back to actually being excited for this movie. And hopefully it's as good as people say, or at least close to it. But I'm just hoping it's a fun movie. It's a fun ride. It definitely looks like it's going to be definitely going to be looking forward to seeing it we're going to have the whole spoiler review discussion all that stuff going down on the channel when that drops in june it's going to be a really really packed summer y'all and we're going to be covering all the dope fandom frequency dopeness is going to be all throughout the summer all throughout the year we're only getting started y'all make sure you click and subscribe like share all that good jazz check us out on the podcast feeds anywhere you listen to your audio check us out over there we'll catch you on the next one we got a lot of good dope stuff going on around here so make sure you look through the library and see what we have to offer. And until next time, guys, peace out, much love, and we'll see you on the next one.